Hello everybody, Toastbomb here today to talk to you guys about this uh, sort of understanding that people have of how to improve your skill in video games and why that is not entirely accurate. And, and this thing that a lot of people think is that in order to get good you have to grind hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of hours. And that is the only way to get good. And, well, yes, it's true, you have to play a lot to get good, you, you do have to put the hours in. It's not only purely about the amount of time you put in, it's about the amount of quality and the amount of effort you put into those hours that will actually give you the results you're looking for. A pretty easy example of this to sort of show what I'm meaning by this is to say there's some sort of race, you know, like a cross-country race or something like that, and the guy who gets first place, he wins by a mile, but he doesn't even break a sweat. He's not even trying. Well, that guy, because he really put a low amount of effort into the race, but still ended up performing well, is not actually going to improve very much from that race. But the guy who got fifth, tenth, last place, as long as those people put all the effort they could possibly put into that race and push themselves as hard as possible, those are the people that are actually going to improve from that race. And it's the same thing with Halo. Just like you can see me playing in this gameplay right now, obviously you can see me and my friend are playing in multi-team and the people we're playing are a few grades lower than our skill level to say the least. And because of that, you know, we're not trying our hardest. We're just kind of going with the flow. We're not concentrating on our strafes or our positioning, at least to the degree that you would when you're playing a more competitive game type like MLG or something like that. So as a result, Am I really going to get better from performing extremely well, personally at least, you know, personal st stats at least, in this game? No, not really, because I didn't put really any effort almost into getting these results in this game. Now, if you want to start doing this, if you want to start improving, if you've noticed that, hey, I play all the time, but I'm not getting any better, this, this might be the solution, is to start putting more effort into your games. And I know that's kind of an ambiguous thing to say, like, right? You know, put more effort into the game. Use more skill. Like, what does that mean? How do you even do that? Well, at least for me, the easiest way for me to do this in any playlist, any game type, it doesn't matter, is to assume that the enemies, every single one of them on the other team, are the greatest players ever, and that the match is going to be an intense and close match. I don't look at the other players' records, I don't try to calculate their skill before the game even starts, I just assume that they are very good and I'm going to go in and do the exact same thing I would do if I was playing someone really, really good. And by doing that, you naturally start thinking about certain things, like your strafe, like positioning concentrating on your shot, all of that stuff. All of those lower level components that potentially get very ignored while playing very casually and putting in a low effort, you start to think about. And that is where you really start improving is when you start analyzing those things during the game. Now obviously when you start playing the game, you're going to realize the true skill level of these players, whether they're good, whether they're bad, which can make it difficult to continue putting in that same level of effort because you know, you have quantified what these players' skill levels are, so why would you try any harder than you need to? And while it may seem silly, while it may seem backwards a lot of the time, I still convince myself throughout the entire game that these players are really good and I continue to do the exact same things I would do against a good player on these players that I'm playing. And I try to completely ignore their actual skill level and just convince myself that, okay, these are how good these players are, they're very good. And then as a result, throughout the game, I'm still putting in that same level of effort, or at least close to it. And I can improve from that, and those hours that I put in during the time I'm playing actually become much more valuable, and they allow me to progress further than I would if I was just casually playing and sitting back and not really concentrating. 
Now, obviously, if you're playing low-skill players, no matter how much effort you put in, you're not going to improve to the same degree. So if you really, really want to improve, you can go into the more competitive game types, like MLG or Team Throwdown, whatever competitive game types in that game, play custom games with good people, stuff like that. There's a lot of people out there doing that for all of the Halo games. And that will help you to improve a lot as well. But also, obviously, it's not just about improving and progressing, it's also about having fun. So even if you are just playing Action Sack or something like that daily with your friends, and that's pretty much all you do, but you still want to be improving faster than you are currently, then try this. Try putting in this effort. Try assuming that everyone else on the other team is very good and convince yourself that throughout the match, and that will end up giving you much, much better results, not only in that one instance of the game, but in the long run and help you improve your skill greatly. So anyways, that'll be it for this one. If you like the video, you can leave a like or a comment, or you can subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.